It's an outrage, a whole consignment of false moustaches, hijack. <laughs> Not to worry, mine's still looking as spiffy as ever. We meet again, Alden. You don't remember? Let me refresh your memory. Last year's play school auditions. Has anyone seen those two bread rolls I was saving? I beg your pardon, but I can't hear a word you're saying. I think you're displaying all the classic symptoms of someone who's going completely and utterly insane. I can't imagine what gives you that impression. You're always making me look the fool. And worse still, you're continually going out of focus. No, I'm not, Governor. Have a look. Hmm. Bad hat, bad hat, bad hat. And there's more. Naughty sleeve, naughty sleeve. This man claims to be an automatic teller machine. Is that right? Well, he appears to be out of order. Now, you in the corner, propel yourself across the room for no apparent reason. OK. <laughs> now, before I proceed to sentencing, are there any courtroom clichés we've forgotten? It's a lie! A damn stinking lie! Guards, scuffle awkwardly with that man. Oh, I, I didn't mean to say stinking. <laughs> Once she'd seen my Rolf Harris impression, she was putty in my hands. I see. You got the leg over? Yes, I did. All three, as a matter of fact. Honestly, I'd forget my own testicles if they weren't screwed on. Mm. Actually, you have, sir. I found them outside. At least, I think they're yours. They match the photograph in the post office. Big tits, small dicks, puffy blokes in military uniform. Well, it looks like that subplot's come to a bit of a dead end, so let's tuck straight into the final course, which is goat's testicles deep-fried in rat's phlegm. Excuse me. That'll be on back chat. 